So what we're going to be looking at today is Camden County Office of Emergency Management's Hackney Tractor Trailer Body that they've tasked us with uh, redoing a lot of the compartments and the tool mounting in it to help improve their efficiencies. So this is a Hackney body, it's a tractor drawn Hackney body that uh, is a repurposed unit from uh, Had a Different Life and we're just going to go over with what we've done to it to help improve their efficiency. Looking at the number one driver's compartment, all the work that we've done is just specifically on the driver's side of this vehicle. Uh, we've taken out, they had the existing lighting and we upgraded it to sound off signal strip lighting. That's going to provide more uh, compartment lighting inside. Uh, we've taken all the shelves out of the side, we've cut them down and then we've installed uh, Unistrut on both sides to allow them to easily adjust where the shelf is so they're not having fixed shelves like they did. Uh, we've gone in and made some mounts for their uh, their air compressor and then we've came over and we fabricated another shelf for their cord reels from uh, where they had a uh, homemade wood shelf. Um, in the D2 compartment, um, very simply we've gone in, we've installed more Unistrut, we've cut the existing shelves down in order for them to fit and they now can adjust all these shelves very easily to uh, fit any equipment that they may have. They can take a shelf out, they can add another one very easily. It allows for more flexibility. On the D3 compartment, uh, we've just done some uh, tool mounting for them. So on this one, they had some existing stuff. Uh, we've come in and we fabricated a mount for all of their hammers. And then on the, the next one, uh, we came in and we've used pack tool mounts to install uh, their diggers and their other kind of spike tools for digging into the ground and then we've also uh, put the uh, pack tool lock bolt cutters and then we've put mounts in for their shovels and then on the inside of the shelf uh, we've put more of their diggers in there uh, those are fixed because of how long they are in the next compartment uh, we've done the same thing with uh, removing everything, cutting down the shelves, installing the Unistrut gives them more flexibility. If they want to ever add another shelf, they can easily do that. The D5 compartment, the same thing. Taking all the shelving out, taking all the equipment out, installed the Unistrut on both sides, cut all the shelving down, welded in supports, and given them more flexibility. In the D6 compartment, uh, we've taken the shelves out, we've installed Unistrut, and then we fabricated a slide out for their generator. This features Accuride slides, and what this does is this allows them to be easily able to get the generators on and off, and they're not kind of pulling them out and dropping them. Two people can come over here now easily and pull them off or put them back on. In the D7 compartment, we've gutted it from where they had. Uh, they wanted storage for chairs, snow fencing, stakes for the fencing. So we, with two pairs of Accuride slides, so we've got straps with some hooks to hold the chairs into place. Uh, and then we've gone in and installed uh, E-Track system to allow adjustability for these tie down mounts. And then that helps us to help secure the snow fencing, the stakes, and they can easily take that stuff out, adjust if they want to add more straps or different equipment, allows for a lot of flexibility now. And then in this compartment here, uh, we moved a lot of the equipment that was in here over to that compartment because of the room that we created now with that slide out. Uh, so all we've done on this one is we took out their old mount for their scene lights and fabricated them up new mounts, a new tool board slide out, and then we've secured them all with uh, the ratchet straps. If you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you.
Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.